Oh, how's everybody doing tonight? Um, this is one I've been waiting to do. It's not gonna be a crazy uh, kick butt video because I uh, have a lot of stuff to do and we're really busy right now, which is good. But I do finally have the Legator Spectre guitars in stock. Um, I got what I could. Uh, we ended up with a black seven and a black eight string and they are sold. However, I still have, as of right now, they just came in today, the Flamingo Pink 7 and its big brother, the Flamingo Pink 8 string. Okay, if you're unfamiliar with Legator guitars, you want to check them out. They do some fairly radical designs, obviously, um, as far as things go, and they've got some really nice uh, sounds and, and playability. They're a pretty cool uh, shredder guitar. Um, I've been really happy with uh, everything the company's put out for quite a while now. Um, I know people's opinions vary, but you know, I think. They're a great guitar, uh, they play well, and they, they sound really cool. Um, but these, uh, what the, uh, the Spectre is, is it's a take on the, uh, the popular Ghost guitar, which is their headless guitar, as they do in standard fan frets, 6, 7, and 8 string. Now this is, uh, again, a headless guitar, but it's got this wicked uh, kind of offset V, like Kelly Star almost uh, thing going on, uh, body shape-wise, you know. Um, which is a really aggressive looking and very cool. They've got some really nice carving on them. They've got a belly carve on them. Um, like all performance series guitars from Legator this year, these have an optional, well, not optional, they all come with a battery uh, box for you in case you want to upgrade to actives. You don't have to route for it. It's right there. The control cavity is extremely small. Hence, you know, you want that so you can get to that pretty easy without trying to cram a nine volt in there with your controls. You know, it's really, it's small because it doesn't need to be very big. It's a single volume and a three-way blade switch, and that's all that you have for controls, which is nice, you know. And uh, these things are heavy. They're heavier than they thought they'd be, especially the eight strings. They've got a lot of weight to them. They're very stout. This is a nice body. Um, I do like, I wanted to mention this, uh, the position of the, uh, the jack here. Up and out of your way, your wireless or whatever, you know, um, won't get interfered with. Your cable's not going to, like, you know, you don't have to wrap it around or get crazy with it. It's, it's out of your way when you're sitting down and everything too. So very nice. Five bolt neck like they've been doing. Really nice. Stable. So I'll keep an eye on those things, right? Leg Legator. Uh, hive passive pickups in these. But I, like I said, if you want to upgrade to actives, upgrade to actives. Get some Fishmans, some EMGs, some blackouts, whatever you want to do. And you got your battery box right there. Change your pot to a 25K pot and you're good to go, you know. Um, so let's hear how it sounds. Uh, I've got the uh, amp kind of set up, just basic uh, PV uh, Viper sounds, you know, um, the classic 30 kind of tone with, uh, you know, a little, a little delay on it as usual. I'm going to tune this quick, I guess. I don't know if you've ever tuned one of these. It's pretty interesting. Um, the tuner is actually really move the strings a lot they're very finely threaded it's like a reverse thread thing so as you tighten it it, it pulls the string back there we go now that's out of tune isn't it so we need to tune that simple real simple it sounds brutal it's rattling the snare over here which is annoying but so you got your basic bridge tone you know kind of you know these amps like I don't get too crazy with the dialing in and everything I like it a little louder so let's do that so bridge A cowboy chord guitar, you know, <laughs> it doesn't feel right. It, it feels weird. I mean, obviously, you can play anything you want on it, it's a nice guitar, but uh, it feels strange to take a guitar that looks like this and play something like Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, middle position, that sweet, sweet. Sounds 
ones are pretty pretty decent for a pair of humbuckers, you know. Um, of course, humbucking, nice and quiet. Let's get brutal. Actually, let's just kind of, let's take the classic, classic, uh, and dial it in with some, like, more bluesy type sounds. <laughs> So that's your bridge pickup and your, your middle position. Kicking up to like a 65 to 5. Yeah, it's definitely wanting to fight. Now that sounds cool. Um... That's the bridge. I haven't played today, so I feel, you know, I played like, I taught lessons, and showing someone a G chord is not warming up. Uh, anyway, uh, really playable. Uh, nice setup, 14-inch radius, uh, nice and flat. Um, sweeps, of course, you know, sound good. <laughs> Uh, not warming up that actually uh, sounds pretty good I could get real comfortable on one of these you, and looking at it there's a lot of nice little uh, little carves and stuff that make it look a lot more impressive than the original pictures showed you know there's basically all these edges are nice and and, and sanded down and everything and, and angled and it gives the guitar a really nice uh, ergonomic kind of feel to it they even went ahead and like carved along here and everything too and the belly carves a nice touch um, which they do on their V's anyway. So pretty nice guitars overall. I am impressed. Uh, I think they sound pretty good and I will be doing more demos of these. Like I said, the black ones I had are sold. I'll be trying to get more as soon as possible. Here is the eight string monster. It's going to a gentleman in Illinois and his counterpart, the seven string black one, it will be heading out and I can't remember where, but that is also sold and heading out of store. So here's this guy. It's a seven string Spectre uh, guitar. The in case you're not familiar, all the standard fret guitars, like Guitar does at this point, unless are are gonna unless baritone are gonna be a 25 and a half inch scale. Seven strings are 25 and a half to 27 and a half inch scale, and the eight strings are 26 and a half to 28 inch scales. So you get a little bit longer guitar when you get the eight string, a little easier to run the on the on the low tunings and whatnot when you're playing uh, in drop E and some of those other things because that string needs to be tight to really sound nice when you hit it. But if you have any questions or you want to know about these guitars, uh, stop in and check them out. We're at 12 and 9 second in Perry, Iowa. I will have the two pink ones for as long as I have them, which you know might be a couple days. Um, and uh, we'll be here a little bit tomorrow afternoon. I'll be here on Saturday from 11 to 3. Um, feel free to message us through our Facebook page. Uh, message us here on YouTube. Um, reach out to us on our website. Um, any way you want to get a hold of us, call us at 515-329-0120. Or like I said, we're in Perry on 2nd Street. Um, we're about 35 minutes outside of Des Moines. Nice 65 mile per hour drive all the way here. And uh, stop out and play some guitars, you know, check out what we got. I've got these uh, and I did get in some of the S series guitars. I have some Ninjas. Uh, I sold the eight string that I got in white and I have a white, um, I have a white seven string fan fret uh, Ninja 
and a, a standard fret six string Ninja from the S series. I've got a fan fret uh, cobalt blue uh, Ninja right now, and I've got uh, God, I've got ghosts up the nose. I've got six, seven, eight string versions in color shift and white of the ghosts, and I have six string versions left of the performance series ghosts. So I've got, if you want to try a ghost out, I've got plenty of them to check out. Um, as long as they're here, you know, these specters too, they're worth, worth coming in and take a look at. But uh, feel free to stop in, drop me a line, let me know what you think. Uh, and enjoy. Keep playing, keep rocking, keep kicking butt, and I'll talk to you later.